I have got two of the hottest e-readers out this summer because they have the new touchscreen technology, so the Kobo Touch and the Kindle Touch. I'm thinking we should test them. Worldwide sales of e-reader products are predicted to reach £1.8 billion by 2013, and products like the Kindle Touch represent Amazon's determination to maintain its estimated 60% of the market. But with the Kobo Touch offering an e-reading experience at a much cheaper price, it's clear Amazon isn't going to have things all its own way. We spent about four or five hours um, using both devices and actually just enjoying them, in fact, enjoying the downtime. We found a gorgeous little spot in the countryside. And it was a really nice time that we got to just sit there, um, kind of converse a little bit about the e-readers and, and just discuss what we thought about them. Really, the Kindle is, is a more subtle proposition, so it, it offers that little finesse that explains why it's a bit more expensive and why it has this worldwide following. Things like the landscape mode. I prefer to have that, that format. It's just a personal thing. Text to speech, which is an, as an audiobook fan, I just love that. Yeah. You can even play MP3s on it while you read your book. The Cobra, unfortunately, doesn't have the last three features that you mentioned, which is a shame, but then that's reflected in the price. The implementation of touchscreen technology on these two devices, I think, is really important because it, it more readily emulates the experience of turning pages and the tactile nature of reading a book. But while I do find the great e-ink screens on these two devices, I don't know, old-fashioned, if you like. There's, there's yeah. one way in which they are super futuristic, and that's in terms of the performance of their battery. One month for this, two months for the Kindle. Isn't that incredible? And we'll be measuring our mobile phones in, in months in terms of battery life in the future. I definitely think touchscreen e-readers are in it for the long haul. It's one of the devices where I think it's really added to the functionality and how easy it is to use. I really, really love the look of the Kobo and the feel of it. It's really nice in the hand, but feature-wise, I'd have to go for the Kindle. The screen on the Kindle just takes the win for me. It's just that little bit less grey. The white is whiter, the black is blacker, it's clearer in the sunlight. It's a bit more definition, isn't it? I think so. Yeah. So it's 3Gs for the Kobo Touch. It looks very stylish, but the e-ink screen lacks the clarity of the Kindle, which gets 4Gs because of its greater functionality and more satisfying reading experience.